Good morning, folks. I'm meteorologist Tim Howard, and I bring to you your latest WITN first alert forecast on this Tuesday, October 15th. Now watching two areas in the tropics. Let's take a look here. The next two names on the list, Nadine and Oscar. Uh, there we are. Here's the wide shot. This little flare-up of convection showers and storms out in the deep Atlantic. That's the uh, one of the areas the Hurricane Center is watching. And you can see the probability yesterday that was a 40% creeping up now 60% within this orange shaded area. So let's say towards the northern Antilles, uh, towards Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, maybe a little north of that. This is out towards the weekend. Model shows something slowly trying to come together down here as it drives off to the east and then eventually maybe driving a little more southwest or drives westerly and then eventually a little more southwesterly. See that turn in the model data into the Caribbean. I've got a few though that want to drag that thing and turn it, take it to the north. Either way, not driving coastward, either taking the low road, weakening and headed south we're lifting up, uh, taking that hard right turn. That's the way it looks right now. So watching that area and then down into the Caribbean uh, around Nicaragua, Honduras, a lot of showers and storms flaring up down here. Models slowly trying to develop a, a system down here. Take this one westward as well into Central America. 30% chance of development down there. All right, watching those two areas for you, but neither uh, posing any immediate threat to the U.S. Uh, watching to see how things come together. So we come back home, chilly start, cool afternoon. I'll call it with the 60s later today. Uh, wind under 10 out of the northwest. Sun-filled skies, uh, but long sleeves all day. Light jackets, I think, all day for most of you folks. Satrad looks good. I mean, there's nothing out there. Certainly no precip, hardly any clouds. Uh, so that rain chance zero. Watch, got a little chance coming in late tonight, tomorrow morning. 20, 30% isolated morning raindrop or two. Here's the model data. This is midnight-ish. Uh, watch early morning hours, 4, 5, 6 a.m. Sprinkle or two on the map as we head out the door tomorrow morning. Then it'll stay there. A little weak disturbance aloft, trying to spit out a little splash and dash here and there. Uh, put a little 30% on that sunrise tomorrow. All right, air temp change out the door this morning. 20 degrees colder than yesterday morning. Mid-60s are gone. Uh, low to mid 40s, low 40s inland, uh, generally 50s on the coast. That little breeze at about five or so. North wind, light wind today, north northwest. A little more wind coming in tomorrow with the clouds in the morning and that north wind at 10. Uh, we may struggle to get to 60 tomorrow afternoon for the high. Uh, most of the day in the 50s tomorrow. Chilly. On the beaches, uh, upper 60s, low 70s in the surf. A rip current risk is low. Some cool numbers that went uh, 10 ish out of the northwest, up and down the coast. All righty. Uh, the big map showing that chilly air mass again over us. Front uh, rolls off the coast. That little disturbance in the morning. You don't even see much rain on this map here overnight into tomorrow morning. Few clouds, though, with a stray sprinkle in the morning. They're gone. Uh, sunshine through the afternoon and cool numbers again high near 60 that low off the coast there as we get into late Wednesday Wednesday night everything says that stays out there uh, no issues from that maybe a little sprinkle on the coast if anything and that would be it later in the week track and warmer air that's our weekend we jump back into the 70s the rest of the week in the 60s 70s come back for the weekend. Check it out. It was 67 today, 60 tomorrow. 30% chance for a light morning raindrop there. Touch of frost Wednesday night, Thursday night, upper 30s. And then 68 Friday, one more day in the 60s. Look at the weekend. Spectacular. Sunny skies, mid 70s, lows near 50. Trying to catch an 80 by Tuesday of next week.